This tutorial is to show you how to correctly fit the modified bridge breastplate. So you can undo it on the side, I'm just going to go straight over his head. Now, we're looking for the wither pad to sit probably where his last plait is in front of the wither. And we've already put on the girth adapters here. And these are designed with three slots so that you can adjust them a little further forward if the breastplate needs more room or a little further back if the horse is a bit narrower through the shoulder. So taking this strap, be careful not to lose your keeper. Run it through the ring, back through the keeper and then adjust it on a suitable hole. So we're going to do that on both sides. And now the breastplate sits snugly against his neck. Do bear in mind that when the horse lifts its neck up and carries itself like it will when it's in more of a frame, this won't be tight. So you may need to adjust it again after you've ridden around to get the idea of where it sits when the horse is moving. The next thing you're going to adjust is the chest strap. It's really important that this is not too tight and not too loose. If it's too tight, it's going to pull on the muscles between the chest. And if it's too loose, you risk the horse when it jumps with its feet up right under its chest in actually getting it through the strap. So, You can adjust the strap, it's got plenty of holes down the bottom and if you need to punch more, that's not a problem. The next thing that we have here is a set of martingale rings. Now, if you use these, again, plenty of holes that you can lengthen or shorten it, as well as holes here. And if you want to make it even shorter, you can take the buckle off and that also applies for the chest buckle. So both of these are removable so that if you don't need the martingale, you just want to have the modified bridge you can remove them both. <laughs>